my name is Maria and I'm an RN and owner of Celtic Angels and I just wanted to make this little YouTube in the hopes of keeping all of us healthy. I thought I would start with um, how do you tell the difference between an allergy and a cold, the flu and the coronavirus? So if you have allergies, you're going to have the itchy eyes, the snuffy, the snuffy and the sneezy nose, and you're going to be sneezing. Um, if it's the flu, we can add another layer onto that, which is going to be fever, fatigue, body aches. And of course, you're going to have that cough. And if those symptoms get worse, um, one of the defining factors for the, for the coronavirus is that you're going to get very short of breath. And I'm not talking about getting short of breath when you're out running. I'm talking about getting short of breath when you're maybe walking from your, from your chair to the kitchen to do your dishes. And also, if your fever is very high, over, there's, they're saying a, a defining factor for the corona is over 102, which is a very, very high fever. So what do I do? Um, I wake up, I'm not feeling good, I have a high fever. Um, what the CDC is recommending right now, to call your primary care physician. At this point, do not go to the hospital as they're trying to really prevent the spread of the disease. But um, I would like to make an exception to that. If you are short of breath or you're in any respiratory distress, please call 911 straight away. You absolutely need to be in the hospital. As far as we know, um, for the transmission, um, be very careful about the people around you. I know everybody's talking about social distancing, but it is good to if you can keep at least six feet away from, from another person. And the reason for that is if they sneeze, and, and I know this is unbelievable, but a sneeze can travel at, I think, 200 miles an hour. So if you are six feet away from a person and they sneeze, um, there's still a chance that they could, you know, you might be exposed to some of the droplets. So, um, you know, make sure that you kind of maintain that social distance to keep yourself safe. Also, it's really a good idea to um, make sure that you're cleaning all your surfaces at home. And if you're using a Clorox spray um, in the hospital setting, we have to let it sit on a surface for 30 seconds before we can clean it. So I would advise you to do the same thing. And for I would like to um, remind you that all the surfaces that you're constantly touching, like door handles, light switches, your actual cell phone is, is really um, full of germs. Your computer, your, your bathroom, your bedside tables, anything with a surface that's been constantly touched please make sure that you're cleaning, 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 cleaning. Um, in terms of dishes, it would be good if you just kept your own dishes. Do not share with any other family member and make sure that you're putting them through the dishwasher because, um, you know, the heat kills all the germs. So that's a really very important um, point. Um, if you have to sneeze what, or cough, what's being rec recommended right now is that you use a tissue. Um, we have an old Irish trick. We, ha we have tissues up our sleeves so we can pull them out at a moment's notice. Um, if you don't have a tissue, you can cough into your elbow like this. Um, but apparently the virus can live up to six hours on your clothes, apparently. Um, you can get rid of it with you know washing and detergent. So, um, so that's the reason that everybody, it's been recommended that you use a tissue. I also wanted to remind everybody that, you know, in this very, very scary time, um, it's better not to have visitors come to your home. I know this is really hard for family members, but they could be carrying the virus and not know it. So um, if, you know, it would be better to self-isolate if you can. But if, you know, the visitor just literally is like, you know, I, I want I have to get in there to see my parent. Um, please make sure they wear a mask, check their temperature, make sure they hand sanitize and then send them off to the bathroom to scrub their hands for 20 seconds with warm water and soap. And, you know, have them sing happy birthday birthday to themselves twice before they come to visit you. And um, so, it, I mean, it is very 
it's a very very trying time so but but by the same token you want to make sure that your loved ones are protected especially our senior population which is defined as anybody 60 or over at this point um stop and shop i feel are really clever they're just opening their supermarket from 6a to 730a just for people 60 and over so they can go in and get their groceries which i which i think is absolutely wonderful um I get a lot of questions about masks. I'm a healthy person, I feel fine, I'm not sick, should I wear a mask? At this point, the Center for Disease Control is recommending that if you're healthy, no, you're not gonna wear a mask. But if you feel sick, you have a cold, um, cough, then you're gonna wear the mask. So, um, so that comes straight from the CDC. Another risk factor would be if any of you, you or your family have traveled outside of the USA in the last 14 days. So at this point, really, you should really put yourself into um, self-isolation just to make sure that you're OK or that you're not a carrier and that all your family um, are OK. So I hope these few little tips um, can help. Um, I do have some St. Raphael healing oil for anybody out there um, who would like some I, I i got a good supply and he actually is the saint of healing and um so we've been actually giving out a lot of that to our caregivers and our, our our patients and they love it so um so with that i will say stay safe stay healthy stay indoors and god bless <music>